This lesson is going to be an introduction to sheet metal functionality in SOLIDWORKS. Sheet metal parts follow some basic rules and have their own set of features in SOLIDWORKS. Notice that the Command Manager tab for sheet metal has an entirely dedicated set of features used to create sheet metal parts. You can use standard features to create sheet metal parts, but that's actually a little more involved. We will talk about that in one of the lessons in this chapter. A sheet metal part in SOLIDWORKS always starts with a sheet metal feature and then usually a base flange feature. Let's start a brand new part and get the hang of using some of these simple features. From our SOLIDWORKS Infinite Skills templates, I'll select one and now we have to decide on where to start. The first feature in most sheet metal parts is called a base flange. SOLIDWORKS automatically adds the sheet metal feature you saw previously as a placeholder for settings such as thickness, default bend radius, and so on. But there are three ways to use the base flange tab. One way is to sketch a flat panel of the sheet metal. You could make a closed loop sketch like this, click on the base flange, and SOLIDWORKS creates a thin sheet metal panel. Let's undo that and delete our rectangle. Another way that you can approach designing sheet metal parts in SOLIDWORKS is to design an open profile such as this and then create a base flange from this. Notice that this doesn't give you a single panel, but multiple panels with bends already created. This is the essence of most SOLIDWORKS sheet metal parts. You start with an open sketch, and from there create a base flange. Now rarely are you going to design a part this simple, so there are other tools that you can use. The next one that we will run into very frequently is called the Edge Flange. If you click on the Edge Flange tool, the Property Manager wants you to select an edge. Now you can select the inside or the outside edge. It doesn't matter much. You can control it from either place. By clicking on the edge and then dragging the length, you can create a flange. Now we can also set where the bend is going to be located. If we use the material inside option, SOLIDWORKS is going to have to rip some material in the corner. If we use the material outside option, there's going to be a somewhat smaller rip. And the bend outside option, SOLIDWORKS won't have to rip any material at all. There are a couple other options which are more rarely used for tangent to bends and giving a distance to a virtual sharp. But that's the basics of creating edge flanges in SOLIDWORKS. There are some other tools such as the hem. You can grab an edge and bend it over. That bend can be flat, open, rolled in a teardrop shape or rolled in a circular shape and all of the dimensions of course are variable. SOLIDWORKS also enables you on a part like this to control various defaults such as the thickness and the bend radius. You can use a gauge table to determine thicknesses and default bend radiuses for different types of materials. You can also use various options for the bend allowance to figure out the flat pattern from the formed model. You can use k-factor, bend allowance, bend deduction, bend calculation, or a bend table. Depending on how your shop works, you may need to set these up in detail, or you may just refer to a supplier for their defaults. Auto relief refers to the areas on your sheet metal model where SOLIDWORKS has to rip the material slightly. These are defaults that can be set up in special sheet metal templates if you want to do that. 
The important part about sheet metal models in SolidWorks is that you can flatten them. SolidWorks will create the flat pattern of any sheet metal part. The basic rules that SolidWorks expects you to follow is that the part has a consistent thickness, that the side faces are always perpendicular to the main face of the metal sheet, and that all bends are bends that can be performed on a press break, meaning that the bends don't run into one another and that they are straight. SolidWorks sheet metal does not do sheet metal functions other than straight press break bends. In the next lesson, we'll look at some detailed features in SolidWorks sheet metal.